beautiful Neuschwanstein Castle. The Neuschwanstein Castle is a magnificent palace located in southern Germany and was built in the 19th century by an unconventional king called Ludwig II. It's one of the most famous castles in the world with 1.3 million visitors every year. It's called the Disney Castle because it's said to be the inspiration for Disney's Cinderella Castle. The castle is also similar to Sleeping Beauty's castle in Disneyland in Anaheim, California. So how did the Disney castle get involved with Nazis? Well, Ludwig, the king who built the castle, was a ruler who was not interested in ruling his kingdom. He liked literature, music and art way more than politics. He was fascinated by Richard Wagner's operas like Parsifal, Lohengrin, Tannhauser, ancient Germanic myths and tales, stories of knights, princesses, wizards, dragons, heroes and gods. Ludwig was in love with Wagner and his universe. The castle's rooms had Wagner's legendary Germanic imagery everywhere. Decades later, Germany saw a very different kind of art lover taking power. Hitler also loved Richard Wagner's operas way too much. And one of Hitler's henchmen, Alfred Rosenberg, an early member of the Nazi party, initiated a vast art-stealing operation across all occupied Europe under an organization called the Reichsleiter Rosenberg Task Force. It was a Nazi party organization dedicated to stealing cultural property during World War II. Everywhere their sinister boots and helmets went, they confiscated paintings, sculptures, jewels and other riches and hoarded them in hidden or unsuspecting places. Places like Neuschwanstein, the Disney castle. For example, from April 1941 to July 1944, 29 convoys carried plundered masterpieces from Paris to Neuschwanstein castle, which had become the main storage hub for the Reichsleiter Rosenberg task force. By mid-October 1944, the Rosenberg Task Force had seen a mind-boggling 1,418,000 railway wagons move looted books and art into Germany. Facing imminent defeat in April 1945, the SS contemplated a desperate act, detonating Neuschwanstein Castle rather than let its art treasures fall into enemy hands. Luckily, the assigned SS Gruppenführer never carried out this destructive plan and the Allied forces found the palace and its precious contents miraculously intact at the end of the war. Thanks to that, you can still visit the castle and admire its architectural wonders, its towering turrets, arches, and intricate stonework evoking images of medieval grandeur, its Gothic influence with the pointed roofs, stained glass windows, and rich detail its whimsical touches with the hidden doors, the playful bridges, and the swan motifs revealing King Ludwig II's eccentric personality. And all this mountain majesty, perched on a rugged cliff, the castle seems to rise from the mist, adding to its otherworldly charm. Last, but not least, you might be pleased to know that today, unlike the Disney castles you see in the movies, Neuschwanstein Castle has modern heating, hot water, flushing toilets, and space elevators. Oh wait, sorry, okay, just normal elevators, but I heard they're seriously effing great too. So, for your next vacation, forget the Nazis, and book your ticket to Neuschwanstein. Ready?